Upgrading the memory in your desktop computer is the easiest way to speed up performance if your desktop is slow and often unresponsive. Here's how. But before you begin, there are a couple things to keep in mind. First, make sure that the memory that you buy is compatible with your system. Kingston.com has an online tool to help you easily find which memory is compatible with your computer. Next, your work surface should be clean and you should ground yourself first by touching an unpainted metal surface to prevent damage to any components. Also, it can be easy to accidentally bump or disconnect a loose cable, so when working inside your computer, be extra careful. And lastly, in many cases you won't need any tools whatsoever because several computer manufacturers have switched to easy to remove thumb screws. Otherwise, a simple Phillips head screwdriver is all you'll need. Now shut down your computer and remove all the cables from the back. It might be a good idea to snap a quick photo to help you remember where each cable belongs when plugging them back in after we're finished. The memory is generally easily accessible on the motherboard inside the computer by removing one of the side panels on the desktop computer. You can usually distinguish the correct side panel by the large thumb screw or screws which are easily removed by hand. Otherwise, you'll need to consult your computer manufacturer's website before you begin. Slide off the side panel. Computer side panels may open differently on different systems. Some slide back, up, or even fold open but once you get it open, you'll have a clear view of the motherboard. Now, find the memory and the memory slots, usually two or four slots total. You can either add memory, if you have available slots, or replace the existing memory. To remove the old memory, pull the locking arms holding the memory in place outwards and slide up to remove the memory module. If necessary, repeat this process for the other memory modules as well. When installing the new memory, it's important to notice the alignment notch on the memory that lines up with the notch on the memory slot in your computer. If it doesn't line up correctly, Flip it around and press firmly down on the top edge, but don't force it in. You'll hear the locking arm snap into place, letting you know that the memory is secure. Generally speaking, memory is installed in sets of two or more. So repeat this process for the second memory module, and when finished, replace the side panel. Screw it into place, plug the cables back in, and turn on your system. You may receive a message that the amount of memory has changed, but don't worry. Just follow the on-screen instructions to enter the BIOS and accept the changes. And that's it. If you have any questions or need additional help installing memory in your computer, be sure to visit www.kingston.com forward slash support for more information. Thanks for watching.